In this episode of Toys Bag Zen, I'm going to be taking a look at the Origins Masters of the Universe, Buzzsaw Hordak. I uh, went to GameStop for the first time uh, ever, and I, th I believe GameStop is taking over EV Games. I went in there with my son the other day uh, at the mall, and they had this guy sitting on the shelf behind a couple other figures. So I grabbed him right away. I never thought I would ever find this. I keep saying this about the origin figures, but I keep finding the figures that I thought I would never find on the shelf in my stores. So that's fantastic. Let's take a look at the artwork in the back. Look at that. He's uh, throwing the saws, the buzz saws out at He-Man. And it shows the action that he does. This does have some gimmicks to it. We'll take a look at those gimmicks. And here is some of the other stuff in this wave. Let's open this thing up and we'll take a closer look. Here's the instructions on what parts of these figures come apart and also how to use one of the gimmicks for throwing out the buzzsaw out of his chest. First glance, this figure is fantastic. It looks really good. I did notice that there's a black spot in the middle of his forehead there. And uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Maybe I can clean that off. But let's take a closer look at this figure overall. It looks really good. I like the details. The articulation of these figures are fantastic. Here you can see his cape. It's kind of a rubbery plastic. And it's hinged on his back. And uh, the armband on his arm, left arm there, it's a separate piece. So that's a really cool uh, detail, too, that they made. There's underneath the cape, you can see the logo there on his back. He did come with an alternative head. He's got more of a smiling face instead of a frowny face. I do like the frowny face better, i tell you the truth. He also came with an alternative hand. We've got the open hand, and then we have the fisted hand. So let's take that off. I'm not a fan of the open hand, so I always, if it comes with an extra hand, I always switch them out. And if your figure doesn't come with a open hand or a fisted hand and you want to switch it out, you can always, if you get other figures, even though they might be a, maybe a different color or whatever, you can always switch those fists out. You can take these apart and customize them with your other figures from the Origins line. So here I've got the alternative head with the alternative hand on. And then what happens is you open up the chest and this is where you can put the saw blades in. 
Here's the two saw blades that it came with. They are both different, so that's nice to see. I'm glad that they gave you two different looks. What you do is you push it in and it clicks. And then the switch is activated on the back of the cape. You just push that down and it shoots out at you. That's pretty cool. Let's try the other one. Push it in, clicks in, and then you shoot your enemy. So that's really fun. I'm sure uh, children are going to love that. If there's any kids out there, I don't know. Does anybody have any kids out there that are collecting these? Um, I give them to my kids all the time, and they kind of look at them, and then they move on to their Roblox um, characters. So that's the thing that they love. Now, it did come with another weapon. It's the crossbow, and these are really similar to the original crossbows that the vintage ones came with. You can see the details of the head in the front. They just clip in like that, and then you push the back of it, and it ejects. Now, it doesn't really shoot anything, but, you know, it makes it look like it shoots something. So I guess uh, that's really cool that they added that to it. And he doesn't really hold it in his hand. It's more of a, a clip that clips around his wrist. I find that his ankles are a little loose. So it's hard to stand him up, which is the first time I found this with these figures where the ankles are loose like that. Overall, I really like the figure. I do like the gimmick, actually. I like the extra head and the extra hand. And I think it really looks like the original one from the 80s. I've shown this in many of my videos how to do this. But uh, I don't even know if this Zippo lighter fluid is going to work on this paint. It uh, seems to be a pretty good paint that they're using on these figures. And uh, it's taking me a lot of elbow grease to do this. But I think with lots of effort, it will uh, come off. I just scraped it off with my, my fingernail at the ends just to get the rest of it off. That's my review of Buzzsaw Hordak. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell down below for new videos. And at the end of this video, if you wait, you'll see some videos come up on your screen and you can click on one of those videos and check those reviews or toy repairs or unboxings out. That's all I got to say for today. Thanks for watching. See you later.